Welcome to Jason Mitchell Outdoors Television. Join us as we showcase some of the greatest hunting and fishing opportunities across the Midwest. There we got him. Whoa! There's a fish. Whoa. Just like Look at that. that. Thanks so All right. much. That's a beauty. Got it. Today's show is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Yardcraft Boats, Evinrude BRP, Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods, North Dakota Tourism, Legendary, Cooper Chevrolet, Clam Ice Fishing, Northland Fishing Tackle, U.S. Reel, Trigger X, Salmo Fishing Lures, and Bionic Line. Follow Jason Mitchell Outdoors online at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com or become a fan on Facebook. Here we go. <laughs> he just looks so nice coming up out of the water too. <laughs> uh, that's what we're here for. Welcome to this episode of Jason Mitchell Outdoors. We're on arguably one of Minnesota's top walleye lakes, but I tell you what, a lot of these jumbo perch are really getting a lot of attention. The best part about a lot of these patterns is when you're catching perch, a lot of times you're catching walleyes. Well, the thing we're doing right now that you and I had the most fun with here is that we're fishing ultralights, uh, rods. And what we want to make sure the people do there, Jace, is to match a line that's compatible to that and it will work well. Don't go overkill. Uh, you can fish four pound test line for the perch and still have plenty of, uh, of strength even to land a walleye or they just take your time. We really went to smaller jigs as we went through the day today and the reason being so many of these perch are just sitting there right above the weed level so if we're ticking the weeds that's what they're going to bite. So too heavy, too big, you're going to be too far in the weeds where these fish aren't going to find us. So you exactly just want right. to just float exactly through right. the area slow and just tickle the that's ends right. of that weed bed. Exactly right and you know several companies make the weedless little jigs also so they've got a fiber guard on the top and if you get into heavy cabbage and you still think you're having trouble put that on because that'll work too. But uh, downsize also the bait. You mm -hmm. know, we're using uh, uh, minnows that are, are fatheads in most cases, but little rainbows, uh, little shiners, all of that stuff will work very, very well. There we go. This is a, might be a better fish. I just love it when they what? bend these rods over. Huh? Oh, look at that. See, there we go. <laughs> oh. That's a dandy right there. Yeah. See, and that's, uh, puts a bend in that pole, Jace. Yeah, isn't that something? That is fun. And what we're doing, and. This is pretty typical on Leech Lake and a lot of these lakes in northern Minnesota. These fish are roaming these big flats. Sand is a key. A lot of times there's some junk weed, some car on the bottom, and edges of coontails. So you're hitting weed bed edges that you know you find on these flats and just drifting over the top real slow with a really small jig. That's just a light 16th ounce Northland jig and just hooking a minnow on and just snapping it across these flats. And it's a matter of finding the fish. And then once you find them, either throw a buoy out, hit a waypoint on your GPS just work in the areas and that's the reward right there. Yeah, hey, what are these fish feeding on? Well right now the perch that we're catching Jason, the majority of them are fishing on rusty crayfish and regular crayfish, the smaller versions like that. They're just check full of it. And the other thing that they're feeding on is uh, the little minnows that they're out here, even the little perch minnows. But that's their food supply right now and that's, they're all over the entire flats. These uh, rusty crayfish are very very numerous right now but that's their food right now. That's what we're looking for. There you go, James. That's a good one. Oh, you got one too? I lost mine too. <laughs> Don't you love these? Boy. That is fun. I can't even hardly see that jig in there. There we go. Better one, maybe. Yeah, oh, we're getting there. Yeah. Okay. Looking better particular point. It doesn't take you long to get a meal at this rate, you know. If you no, it don't. And that's, you hit it on the good. head there, that's why people really like to catch these fish, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, hard for us to throw them back now. See? Yeah. <laughs> Never seen a perch that didn't look good in grease, huh? Yes. <laughs> Follow Jason Mitchell Outdoors online at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com or become a fan on Facebook.
coming with the net. Deeper, deeper. There we are, Walter. There we go. There. The actual keepable fish. Yeah. Well, a nice compliment to the jumbo perch, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him, good show. There we go. Good show, good show. Don't you just love that? <laughs> this is a good fish here. Big net? Yeah. Yeah, this is a good. That's what I love about this place is that there's always something happening. Yep. If you're an opportunist, I mean, there is something to catch, something to enjoy on this lake. Big muskies, great bass yeah. fishing. We've talked about the walleyes obviously a lot, and then the jumbo perch. There's big yeah. crappies, bluegills. Yeah, I mean, that's that's correct. A lot of stuff to do out here. Looks like a good fish, Dave. Yeah. Jeez. Nice bend on that rock. up there. There's there fish. Go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> Good one. There we Good go. Good show. Pretty dark. Isn't that? Yeah, that is beautiful. Grab them out of the net here. Obviously, one of the greatest walleye baits that God ever made is a big old red tail. And just tail hooking it so that minnow really has a lot of thump and twitch on it and that's what it took. I'm just gonna cut the line. But yeah, that's that's why people come to Leech Lake right there. There we go. Here you go, Al. There we go. Nice work. There's no doubt, Jace, they want a bait of choice, like you said, the red tails, this particular point. Nice, healthy fish right there. <clears throat> they're hard to come by many days in here, this area that we're at. Sometimes there are so many oversized, but uh, it's really good to see this size fish coming, so looking good. That fish will give some of those perch run for his money. Yeah, and we'll exactly get right. First, huh? Yep. There you go. There we go. There's a good fish here, Al. Okay, I'm coming with a big net here. Try to turn you the other way. Nice fish. Don't you love that when they just stop that rod? Yeah. Take your time here. And Nice and slow. It's good for the Got fish good, too. I think, yeah. yeah, definitely good for the fish. Take your time. Well, they want it way out in that saddle, Chase. So. Yep. You know, in our rigging, we've caught fish jigging, but there's a lot of different ways you can catch walleyes out here too. Oh, you yeah. can kind of pick your poison. Crank baits, trolling whatever, cranks. Yeah. There's a Spinners shallow with, yeah. patterns and deep yeah, patterns. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, isn't that beautiful, Andy. huh? Nice, Andy. A little further. Got there we go. Nice shot. You know what I love about using these red tails is that <laughs> you can feel that fish, get, that red tail start to, start to flick its tail trying to get away, and that's the, your early warning system when a big walleye's on the prowl and he's gonna about ready to chomp him. Isn't that cool? This is just a phenomenal fishery. If you'd like to find out more about fishing Leech Lake. We'll put some contact information on the screen. Leech Lake Area Tourism, there's just so many different things to do. Great Main Street and Walker, lots of resorts. I mean, and most of all, great fishing. And we'll see you later. Nice job. <laughs> Healthy.